years later, and Batch continues its tradition of fresh, local flavors and handmade artisan goods. We have the owners, Megan Pohl and Jessica Brewster, back in our kitchen to celebrate this big anniversary and helping us create an Easter brunch as well. And this all looks amazing. Last time you guys were here, you brought your classic biscuits and mm -hmm. some of your jam. Mm -hmm. Oh jam. my gosh. I saw that. It's when I declared I was in my biscuit era. You guys uh -huh. like completely converted me. Uh, but tell us what we're making today. We're going to make two different kinds of quiche today. Uh, we make a ton of quiche. Uh, mm. Typically we do these little ones. Look how cute. Uh, we do about between four and five hundred of those every Lots Saturday. But for Easter we do a lot of the larger ones so mm -hmm. that you can take them home and do an Easter brunch easy, just throw it in the oven, heat it up, and lunch is How done. many did you say you do? Like Every between four and 500 of them. Wow. Yeah. That's wow. a lot. You, yeah. <laughs> you said it's a lot. So casual. <laughs> we're going to cut into these to try them, but tell us about the two different kinds that we're making today. So, so we are going to do the apple, that's the spinach roasted pe red pepper and Italian cheese, um, and then the apple shallot and gouda, which is one of my personal favorites. I like the unusual ones, and I love like fruit and cheese. And what oh, is the yeah. trick when you're doing this? And you're using spinach because I know sometimes it can get a little watery. Is there anything to keep in mind when you're when you're making something like this? Not I really. I think just not to overload it because the egg sometimes doesn't go all the way through. So you got to make sure that it's like integrated into the spinach. But mm -hmm. in the quiche, at least when we make them, they don't tend to get watery on our end, at least. Um, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, and like and sometimes it's a little more cooking time. Like you'll yeah. have to just you know you just yeah. checking yeah. back. Well, I just yeah. Don't ask because I've jiggly I've, anymore. I've tried making quiche before, and it doesn't mm. always come out right. Is there a secret? Do you are you supposed I to use you heavy what? cream and milk and a yes. combination? Yes. So we use we try to use as many local eggs as possible. Sometimes you know cost doesn't always work out, but we always sell them in the store, and we use heavy cream. Uh, oh. We always load it up with cheese and everything else. We like I like lots of stuff in it, yeah. and yeah. then um, so. And Jess just has that knack, whether it's soups or like quiche, she just can like eyeball the ratio of she things. Knows. She yeah. just knows. She just knows. And did you say are you using heavy cream? Yes. Is that what mm -hmm. you use? Okay. Yep. Yeah, we use Marburger. We get deliveries from Marburger for their heavy cream and their buttermilk for our um, the banana bread, which we make every week, which is also awesome. Yeah, for is a that, sweet now, treat is that, for breakfast. Is that crush just something you pick up from the store? Is that oh, no. made? We make no, everything. We make you make everything. And can I tell you, I don't know what you guys do to your pie dough, but there is so much flavor even in the crust alone. Butter. I don't know how you. Lots of butter. Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't even care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we make so a lot good, of pie right? dough, <laughs> yeah. and we roll it all out by hand. So the 500 that we make, mm -hmm. it's, it's all it's all yeah. hand rolled. And we yeah. have five employees typically on a Saturday. I mean, we are all working from the time we get there to the time we leave. <laughs> and you guys got started at uh, Markets downtown, right? Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. I was down there yesterday. It was amazing. They did mm. an early one. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try this. Yeah, so please. I'm actually trying the one that you're making right now, layering. Apple shallot. Shallots, apple, and what kind of cheese was this? Mm. Gouda. Gouda. Mm. Oh, really that's really good. That is divine. So um, these take can take some time to bake. Yeah. A little bit yeah. of time. So but people are nice making this at home. We do the long bake for you, so you just have to take it home and heat it up. So you can yeah. pre-order these if you yes. want to get this for yep. Easter brunch. Yep. And I want to say congratulations. Ten years is no easy feat in the restaurant no. business. Thank so you. congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You were mentioning that the pandemic kind of almost helped. A little uh, bit. Where some restaurants yeah. it hurt, you guys yeah. were able to really. So kind from of the take beginning, advantage. we've always had it to go. I uh -huh. make what I make. If mm -hmm. you like it, you take it home. That's dinner for your family. You don't have to cook tonight. Mm -hmm. You have to heat it up and enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, so that being said, during the pandemic, we didn't have to transition our packaging or try to take something from a plated dish to a to go dish. Mm -hmm. It was already that right. way. So you know, to be frank, it's. It helped us, <laughs> but um, but it definitely helped us expand as well. Expanded so our done. customer base, I yes. think. Well, you and know? It really, I mean, you guys were just already set up yeah. to be successful yeah. when everything shut down. Yeah, yeah. You were yeah. already set up. Um, we got to talk about the banana bread mm. too. Huge fan. Salt, pepper. Um, is there yep. what? What do you add to your banana bread to make it so special? Uh, it was my mother's recipe actually, and um, she said buttermilk. Buttermilk. Yeah. Mm, and lots of bananas. Secret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite out of the two? Oh, they're both so they're, good. Oh, it's just, here, I haven't even dove into, dove into the second one yet. A couple more But you guys use this. pretty much all locally sourced ingredients. How important is that? We, we try mm -hmm. to, especially in season. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, it's, yeah. it's been important to us to support other small, not just mm -hmm. makers, but growers. Yeah. 
You know, that's like our quiche. Um, the reason we make so many that is we they go to a couple other small coffee shops. Vintage Coffee Shop and Butler's awesome and Shepherd's. Um, just other people hustling like we are and supporting us and we do the same for them. So same with the farmers. We try mm -hmm. our best to get in season. I'm glad Delicious. you guys are hustling so hard because I am yeah. taking advantage of your hard work. <laughs> uh, this is so good. Like breakfast for lunch. Yeah. I love it. Well, that's <laughs> that's what kind of how they came to fruition because, you know, what can you eat breakfast and lunch and dinner this and it still be the same thing. Yep. Yeesh. Well, thank you so much. And thank if you want to get your orders in, go find them. Batch is located along West Main Street in Saxonburg, open Tuesday through Saturday. Yeah, and if you're interested in ordering from their weekly menu and checking out their shop, we will have more information on our website at kdk.com slash talk to We'll be right back after the break. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs>